Hello students, today we will be discussing about compound microscope. What is a compound microscope? In simple microscope, we used single convex lens. But then uh, in case of compound microscope, we are using two convex lens. Why two we are using? Because uh, uh, so many things you can say, first thing is that uh, mm, the magnifying power increases. Okay, to because uh, one lens will magnify uh, the object uh, to its image, then the image becomes the object for the second lens. The second lens also will also magnify the uh, image, and that will still get magnified. So that means uh, the magnification is multiplied. It's not added; it is multiplied. So there are two lenses used, uh, two convex lenses of uh, variable diameter one is having a greater diameter and the other one is having smaller diameter that we'll discuss uh, afterwards again uh, because more uh, lenses are used to avoid uh, chromatic aberrations few aberrations uh, are uh, 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 slightly removed but not fully removed uh, because we are using lens so there must be some averages aberrations uh, like chromatic aberrations and uh, the, uh, some spherical aberrations uh, uh, but if I use uh, instead of uh, lens, I use a mirror, uh, then um, first type of aberrations are not there, a reflecting mirror. Uh, anyway, uh, we are going to discuss about the compound microscope and in compound microscope, we will use two lenses placed uh, with certain distance apart. and. Uh, let us discuss about that and uh, see <coughs> in a compound microscope. So in compound microscope, we are using, let me explain the concept first, then we'll discuss basically because I have to draw the diagram again, I know that. So we have a uh, two lenses, one over here, another say over here, okay, I will draw that, uh, the, if I draw it here then uh, the diagram might be difficult to adjust, so I will not draw the second lens, I will first draw the first lens then complete the ray diagram and then draw the second lens here the first lens is called objective so this is i represent the optical center of this with the o objective now suppose this is the focus of this objective so i will say this length as the f o that is the focal length of objective now this is the focal length of the objective and uh, Unlike uh, simple microscope, the object is not to be placed in between the focus and the ob uh, optical center. It should be placed beyond the focus because if I place the object in between the optical center and focus, the image will be formed this side. So there is no use of this lens here. Okay. So the object in this case is placed beyond the focal length. So if I place somewhere here, then what will happen? We know that if the object is placed beyond the focal length, the image is formed the other side of the lens. Something like this. I will consider two rays, uh, rather in different color. One ray will go like that. Okay. That passes through the optical center and goes straight without any deviation. Because we know that any ray passing through optical center undergoes no deviation. Then. Uh, I will consider uh, one ray parallel to this principal axis and then uh, that has to pass through the focus. If I have considered this as a focus, so this distance should be equal to this distance, so this is supposed to be the focus, then uh, this has to move like that and meet somewhere here, then it will be difficult to draw the diagram here. So I will just uh, make the focal length over here and see somewhere it will meet here. So I will just reduce the focal length and uh, try to adjust that this is meeting here so this is the focal length 
okay so this is the focal length of the objective these two rays are uh, meeting at uh, this side here at this point so image is found here so the image uh, will be of the same color i'll draw so this is the image that is formed suppose this is your a this is your b a b is the object then uh, a dash and b dash is a image formed now this image should act as an object for the second lens so the second lens is obviously placed somewhere here such that i get the image at this object this image which acts as the object for the second lens to be placed within the focal length of that second lens the second lens using here uh, is called uh, ips this lens is called objective because it is placed in front of the object this is near to the object so it is called objective and the other lens is called eyepiece because that is more nearer to the eye because we see from this that side so eyepiece so <coughs> let me manipulate the thing first because uh, the space is limited and i have to draw the proper diagram so i will do one thing that uh, i'll uh, try to form the image over here for my convenience so if i want to form the image here the ray will go like that if i form the image here the ray will go like that so let us, let us form the image here okay let us say the image is formed here okay then obviously this uh, lens will be somewhere here and uh, the ray must have gone like that the ray must have gone like that like that the ray must have gone like that so th that must be the uh, optical uh, uh, center of the lens if that is the optical center if i let me draw a straight line first so that must be the optical center and this must be the lens this must be the lens and uh, one ray coming uh, uh, <coughs> i will draw like that then uh, it will extend and meet here i will draw like that okay let me draw it okay suppose this is the second lens okay this is the second lens so this ray goes like this this is go like this this passes through the focus because the focus i have taken is uh, very far off that's far off so i cannot draw the diagram this goes to the focus it goes to the focus and if i extend this in the backward direction let me say that it meets here okay let me just imagine that it is meeting here because this ray in this side will never meet but if i extend the ray in the backward direction suppose that it is meeting here this is how the image is formed so because of the problem in the space so you have to imagine that this goes to the focus this goes to the focus and this extended in the backward direction this ray also extended in the backward direction meets here this part of the diagram should be clear the other one you can just say that it is going to the focus now this uh, lens is uh, called uh, eyepiece this lens is called objective i we see through this side of the lens so our i is over here this is i there should not be gap between the lens and the eye though it is a very small gap if it is of some very near it should be one two mm okay but if the gap the, between the lens and the eye, eye is more then uh, we have to introduce correction that we'll discuss after the end of the video now we will discuss few things uh, before we go to find the magnifying power the first thing is that this uh, focal length this is the focal length of the objective this is also the focal length of the objective this distance this is the object distance this is the object distance okay this is the object distance that is u o why u o because uh, the object is this is acting as object for this lens objective lens so it is called objective lens uh, object distance now the image is from here the image is from here so if i do this 
okay the image is found here so this distance is called image distance this is the image distance for the objective lens okay this part is clear so let me repeat that this is a lens this is the object so therefore this is the object object distance and its image is from here so it is called the image distance this distance is v naught this v and u with, with respect to o so i am writing u o and v o okay now the image that is from here a dash b dash is obviously magnified as you can see here this is magnified and uh, the this of the image will act as object for this lens but you have to adjust the lens so that this image that is formed because of this will fall in the focal length of the convex lens eyepiece so therefore i would say the suppose that this is the focal length or focus of eyepiece so that again you will get the magnified image just like this just behaves like the simple microscope if you if you hide this part of the diagram then this diagram is exactly same as we, to, as we used to do in case of a simple microscope that means there is an object and the image is rotating at the same side so this uh, object of this um, eyepiece the image form here i call a double dash b double dash this is the final image form this uh, distance uh, where is that this distance where the object is in front of this lens so for this uh, eyepiece this object is object distance so this is called object distance u of e because this uh, i will consider as e the optical center is e because this is e stands for eyepiece o stands for objective so with respect to this optical center of eyepiece this is the object so therefore this is the object distance u e this part is clear now where the final image is formed final image is formed here so with respect to this lens this is the final image is formed here how far from the optical center this far from the optical center this is VE VE is the final image with respect to this optical center E so these are the four characteristics these are the four uh, uh, variables and we also need this focal length FO and its focal length fe this is the focal length over here you can see here this is the focal length but that's not required right now so i'm not taking this this is also the focal length of this second iris now after this we have to find the magnifying power of compound microscope this is a compound microscope one uh, in compound microscope we have two lenses one is objective, and this is eyepiece, one is smaller, and this is bigger. So this one is smaller, this one is bigger. And uh, now we are going to find the magnifying power. Okay. So let us uh, uh, find the magnifying power of compound microscope. The definition of uh, magnifying power is that it is the angle subtended by the final image that means this image this is the final image formed at the eyepiece here suppose this angle that is made here is beta and uh, the final image formed at the eyepiece when seen through lens that angle visual angle subtended divided by the visual angle subtended by the object when it is placed at ddv that means when the object is uh, without lens when the object is placed in front of i at a distance naked eye at a distance of ddv that means 25 centimeter so when this object a b this object has to be placed near or i just at a distance of ddv then what angle it subtends at the eye this angle that we have to divide so that angle is called alpha this will look something like this Suppose that uh, these are I and this is the same object which is here that is A and B. Now I can place this object uh, anywhere but I have to place this object exactly at when the distance is DDV from the I. 
exactly 25 centimeter so now what angle it subtends suppose the it subtends an angle alpha then this beta divided by this alpha is called the magnifying power and now we are going to find the magnifying power of this compound microscope okay we will continue this uh, in our next video okay thank you